here we go. Uh, this is Flash Somebody at In a Perfect World on RealLibertyMedia.com. And it's, uh, thanks, honey. It is the 11th day of February, 2020. And tonight, for your listening perusal, I got a co hostage. Say hey to everybody, co hostage. Hey, everybody, co hostage. Well, I was trying to stall for a little tope, but he messed that up. Anyway, that's Rob Works from RealLibertyMedia.com and other stuff he's done. Hey, somebody put me up there with Rob tonight. And uh, we're going to do uh, the usuals. I'll say hey to the bots and bodies. So we had to have Grim come on here and rescue us because... <laughs> I, I should have given Rob a little more warning and given time to, to figure out what to do with his equipment, and I didn't. So we had a rush and had to call Grim to the rescue. Well, you know what? There's so much to this stuff. It's hard to believe that I even know people that can help it when it's broken. <laughs> so anyway, big thanks to Mr. Grimner and the uh, bots and bodies in the reallibertymedia.com chat for your type and extravaganza tonight. It's got a small crowd. I, I don't I don't think I'm popular with people no more. <laughs> and we got Parman, Beetle, Grimnir, Moose Girl, Kate, Anti, Asmo, Chelsea, Doni, Circle, Hello, honey. Damn Van Meter, Me, Java Doctor, to Meister Brow Prince Rob Works, hey Rob, Rome's Vanna White Weather Dork, Phantom CC66, Chaskara, Cyborg Noodle, E Man, Ensive Frumpy Work, Gromit, Jays Nines, Jays, Kiss Pwn, Sock, Sock Puppet, Smart Ass, The Holiest Roger, and Zepix. So we got got a few people that are off earning a living today, Rob. What do you think of that? Uh, yeah, it's a Tuesday. Well, you know, when you have to eat, you got to do something to do it. That's my motto. Yeah. <sighs> and then tonight, because uh, I I didn't realize Rob was going to be available, so I was surprised to have a co-host to jump in here. So I came up with a special topic. I thought Rob might like that. <laughs> kick this one off because <laughs> I'm calling tonight's episode of In a Perfect World Are We Begging for Enslavement or What? Uh, so it seems. Well, what's your first indication? Uh, uh, just so uh, where to begin? Who knows? <laughs> where to begin? Uh, well, I saw a link earlier today by a, a younger fella, and it's probably is maybe twenties, maybe middle, you know, middle twenties to thirty, and he did a link about the Act of eighteen seventy one. The sad part about it is he did it with a actually with a status point of view, <laughs> like it was, it was. You find this out, and now we can fix it. Not the understanding that the laws are written so they can't be fixed. But that's, you know, my personal opinion that's really popular. <laughs> A lot of people hanging with me. Because tonight, we're philosophizing freedom with Flash. Hey, I said that too. But I said it before I hit the pipe. Uh Well, Grim's trying to throw me off my mark. Anyway, so do you think that we're begging for enslavement, Rob, or is that just my imagination? I think it's more of just being fucking oblivious. Well, okay. How could you possibly be oblivious to what is so obvious? I mean, huh? You know. Well, right, yeah, I'm asking you and you haven't got any more idea than I do. Because the people I'm surrounded by, the ones that do the state thing and play the state game are well aware that they do that. 
there's no secret or hidden message or stupidity to it. It's, you know, this is what we do. So knowing it, I, I'm with you on that. I think knowing it is a good percentage of the problem. Yeah, it's it's awareness. Well, do you it's remember like, how you found out? I was talking about in the chat room the other day just uh, when I went to the racetrack, the horse races. And we got there just a little early, just in time for the anthem. Uh-oh. And so we just, we just walked like six blocks or something. And... We were sitting on the bleachers, and I didn't want to stand up. Of course, I wouldn't have stood up anyway, but neither did uh, my girl or my friend. And so we all sat through the anthem, and my friend was talking, and uh, we got shushed. People behind us were like, shh. Wow. Were you louder yeah. than the music? <laughs> no, I wasn't being loud at all. We just, he was, <laughs> I know. He was like, Oh my God! You just respected the magic sky clock. I, I was being sarcastical. I know. We and we then, uh, we all go through and that. And then put up a cigarette, and that was it. They they had to get up and move because we were disrespectful of the flag and smokers and <laughs> it's just oh God. People are so weird. <laughs> anyway, as we were walking, off, the woman said, uh, and they couldn't even stand up for the anthem. Hmm. You know. It's just a flag, it's just a piece of cloth, but and a song. Well, did yeah. they have the Admiralty Court flag or the American flag? No, they had a video screen with a flag waving on it. Isn't that even like less civilized than having a real yeah. flag in some? Yeah, I mean, it's just so plastic. I mean, fake. if you would have put boobs up on the screen, they would have all had a different reaction. Well, yeah. Right. So what I mean is, so so many people are just conditioned, trained, or indoctrinated into believing all this shit we think. Now, I'm amongst a whole shitload of them, but they do it in a different language. And yeah, I think I think that makes a big difference. I'll give you an example. Yesterday, well, Sunday. Start at Sunday. My buddy uh, lives in town, and uh, we use the Real Liberty Media to see if I'm available so he can come by the house. So, obviously, if I answer him on, on uh, RLM, I'm in the house. Hey, come on by. So, uh, right. the strangest thing happens to me. I'm here. He says, oh, I just want to stop by and say, hey, maybe listen to something on the TV. And he comes by with a little bag full of weed. He goes, I know you never have weed here. We only get the hash, but I got some of this. And he brought it by just to smoke some with me. And it's like, yeah, well, you know, when times are right now in the country that I'm in, the, the system's got a little bit of a, a problem with the suppliers. Yeah. So they're intervening, and there's little shortage, so prices are going up. and You know, availability is limited. And I thought a lot of a kid that knows that I like to smoke pot coming by the house with some pot because I don't have any pot. <laughs> it was brilliant. And that is my history with people of freaking all ages, genders, you name it. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how to judge people by uh, the standard, you know, enslavement rules that we live under. <laughs> Like you're smoking and you're getting, you know, you're not standing for a flag seem to put you in a shit box. I mean, well, it, just turn around and looking at all those people standing up, just literally worshiping the damn thing. Yeah, because yeah. that's the reason With, they've got all yeah. the things they've got. Uh, no, it isn't the reason. Well, got to this. them it is. It's you, a bullshit line they've been fed all their fucking life. But well, there not. you go. Be a spoiler. <laughs> Even Captain Buzzkill. <laughs> That's my nature. Yeah, I always tease you about that when you when you go spilling the beans and letting people know what the truth is because the lie is so much more entertaining. I mean, come on. 
we're going to all have coronavirus and, you know, we'll be yeah. living underneath uh, nuclear facilities and windmills. And... I heard my my buddy, his name is Ash, Ash like Ash, but it's pronounced differently in Danish. But he says in English, that's what it would sound like. So, I, okay. But when he comes on the site, he's the guy that writes Z W V I. It's yeah. really weird, so you can't miss him. But uh, we uh, we seem to see the same freaking point of view from two different, completely different worlds. So, hmm. wow, it's just strange how when uh, we can't get along on the internet, but in physical life we seem to. Except for you and your smoking and flag waving people. Well, that's. Uh, I run into that all the time now. People are just. I, I don't know. I don't fit in in this world. <laughs> I just don't. Don't you think that that's exactly what they say? <laughs> hey, look at him. He don't fit in this world. <laughs> Fucking yeah, idiot. Right. He must be a communist. <laughs> Yeah, that's what they were looking at. It's like we were terrorists because we didn't stand up for the flag. Oh, and then I went and broke my little old broken down phone. So now I don't even have a phone. So I'm yeah. I'm out in Danish public without a cell phone. Oh my! Even even the beggar here has a cell phone, a smartphone. <laughs> so, but. I'm telling you, I quit freaking society. Whatever that shit is, you guys can all fucking have it. But it's enough. Uh, it's entertaining enough and it's free enough to go do the trading circle. That doesn't bother me at all. Mixing with the people isn't, it's not half the punishment it was in other places. Yeah, that's. And I, I blame a lot of that on the overcrowding. And then, of course, the, the suppliers, electricity, food, and water, were getting fucked. That's why I say, you know, are we really begging for this enslavement, or is it just thrown at us and we don't, just don't know what to call it? Well, some of us are. How many people do you personally I know? Them and say, what the fuck is wrong with you? Hmm. Why do you keep... Oh, the believe in it part. Probably believe. because uh, television. Hey, you're going to get the coronavirus and die. I hate to tell you this, Rob, but it was nice knowing you, man. <laughs> get your mask! <laughs> they're already they're already printing up that... the mask. I fight stick right. around this shithole fucking society for anyway? Ouch! See, I don't... I don't have that picture of it where I'm at. I, ha I have it of other places that I've been, but not the present. My present day is way different. So, fuck me. I don't know. I feel terrible for people that uh, are living in solitude in this insanity, you know, where there's not a lot of other folk around that know what the fuck they're talking about. That's got to be a lonely place. Oh, yeah, that's right. People are... Or, when I talk yeah. to people out in public or just out and about, uh, nine times out of ten, they, they glass over in the first 30 seconds. I mean, Well, do you run in, into a lot of the status voter kind of mind? You, or, yeah. And, well, you're in Arkansas, so you're probably Republican at the ass, right? Oh, it's, yeah, it's... Well... Probably. There's a brighter side to the Republican uh, fantasy than the Democrat, though, sadly. Uh, yeah. I well, mean, you know. if I have to choose, if I was, if you put a gun to my head and said, okay, this would be one of these two idiots, which idiot do you want to be? I'd rather be the Republican idiot than the Democrat idiot. And I don't even want to be the Republican idiot. I'm just saying. Uh, I at think gunpoint. I just have to pull the fucking trigger. Off. Wow, see? Wow. You and Grim are some tough ass. I got a wife. I, you know, I'm responsible now. 
Yeah, yeah. I, I get it. I mean, I think that being with Cirque these last few years has definitely softened me up too, compared to how I used oh, to yeah. feel about a lot of shit. Now I'm like a communist, man. It, come on, the house. You hungry? Have some food. Want, oh, you got weed? Let's burn that. <laughs> Very right. communist, buddy. Let me tell you. And you know what? I don't even know what the fuck capitalist is anyway. The whole concept of there's finance no and, and... There's no capitalism. There is no real communism. Well, right. It's I know that and you know that. But to sell the they're story, they got to come up with something catchy. Bullshit. They all suck. Yeah, well, you know how... That's the truth, but you know how popular that is. No. Yeah. Hansel's I head would explode... If look, if Hans could see the world for ten minutes in your through your eyes, his little oh, head yeah. would freaking cave in from the he not under, up, we're all crying like a little baby. Probably, he, yeah. The people that did. fight the he hardest. Yeah. <laughs> now I don't think that you fight to hold on to anything. You're trying to shove it away and it won't leave you the fuck alone. <laughs> yeah, oh well. I try to spread the word, you know, as much as I can. I have been for 30 fucking years now. I started out uh, in 1988, surrendering my social security number. I joined a untaxed organization, uh, one of those groups that were teaching people how to stop paying income taxes, the ones that all ended up in jail and shit. Um... The only reason they haven't messed with me is because I've arranged things and lived my life in such a way that I don't have anything for them to steal, so I am not a big fish to them. They would never yeah. get it yeah. anyway because I don't have anything. Well, it's all on paper anyway. That's the the right. whole the, the whole game that we're playing, Rob. That's the the bottom line to all this shit. Like what, what Vinny went through with that Bundy Ranch and their they're still going to court, right? Yeah. Well, in the end, when they get to the definition of what all these words mean and, and the way that the government's going to use them on these fucking people, and the, actually the shit that they signed, they signed a contract to do what they're doing. So legally, they're, they're, not, they're not right. But it takes a certain level of legal bullshit to get to the point where well, now you got to tell them why they're wrong and why they can't get out of this mess. And by the time they explain it to them, they'll probably believe it because it's so believable. See, these words do not mean this. They mean something else. And what they're fighting over is land. And in legal lease, land is paper. So the, the dirt, <laughs> see, they're just going to, Fuck them with words, Rob. And, and to me and you, I mean, this is how I feel about it. No matter how they play it, they'll drag it out to court, to court, to court, to court, to court. But in the end, the government owns that freaking soil, and they'll they'll shoot you. Well, that's the bottom line. That's why I say all all the time. I say enjoy the anarchy because that's what we have. Okay, but right. see, it took some real thinking and and people telling me what these legal terms mean. For me to come to this decision, especially being around Vinny all this time since he's done it. So I, I know his side of it. But what I didn't know was the legal definitions of what they're fighting over. Right. That changed everything. So I'm still a monkey. You know, I still don't know anything and I still can't help anyone. But I understand what I'm looking at. And wow, what a mess. This there's no fix to any of this. We are so beyond repair, it's, it's not believable. You know, like yeah. we've spent so much more time damaged that we don't have enough life left in us to get fixed in the amount of time it would take to repair us. <laughs> yeah, by the time you over programming. Yeah. And, and realize that there even is a problem. Uh and anybody that's actually working to fix the problem is is 
you know, they don't get the opportunities. They don't, you know. Well, what advice would you give somebody that didn't believe your side of the argument? What would the first thing you'd be instruct them to do? If they were actually wanting to learn something? And is this specifically about politics? Study. But what would you be? What would you send them to? Uh, shit, I don't know. I don't Have know. you ever seen that little link called Meet Your Straw Man? Yeah. I think I'll post it in the notes here tonight for yeah. us. I think I'd but probably... The first time I saw that, I'd heard rumors over over years when I was in my late 20s about that kind of stuff. And I never went anywhere, so I'd never heard of it again. And then uh, when I got onto the internet, then I found this link. I'll post it. But it's called Meet Your Straw Man. And yeah. Boy, and all these other links that were related to it. Like, the, if you open up stuff about your birth certificate, you'll find out that your birth certificate is actually a banknote. And the bank that owns you is printed in the border, I think the right-hand corner of the border of the uh, the document. So it's like, Wow. You know, they get us right from the beginning. And I was saying before when, before when we started, this younger kid did a, a, a video link about the act of 1871, which all it did in the really, the point, the meat of this, is it changed the United States for America into the United States of America. And that started this, raw, the ball, the legal ball we're on now, rolling. By changing those two words. Actually, it created U.S. Inc. There you go. And, right. And, and this kid does a great link about it, but he does it from a status viewpoint. Like, well, now we know we can repair. No, well, that's not going to really work. He's one of those that want to take the country back. Well, right. But the same families have owned it the whole fucking time. Yeah. So... Yeah, the, the get go. How many people know that the Revolutionary War you didn't win it? And besides yeah. that, the document that I think this shit's all based on goes back another hundred years before that. What was it called the Virginia, the Virginia Tree? Fuck, I can't even remember the damn name of this shit. But there's so much more to the story than we're told. That if you can, whoops, that if you can come out of this, sorry about that, guys, believing that uh, this is a free based society and everything you do, you got it, you deserve it, and all this kind of shit. Wow. <laughs> hey, it's a free based society. They're free basing like crazy up there. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's that was terrible, but true, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't think drugs are a big problem where I live in this little bitty town. Where there's a few people that do drugs, but not too many. Yeah. They're more the, it's more the pharmaceutical legal crap than, uh, yeah, yeah, than the illegal. And the illegal is pretty much just people that smoke. Woo, criminals. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway. The revolution, you know, everybody, the, the well, the way they're taught in school is, oh, it was because they were because of taxes. Mm-hmm. The Boston Tea Party, remember Boston Tea Party? <laughs> no, I, I wasn't around. Or, or that's what the revolution was all about: is taxation without representation. No, it wasn't. Well, that's all bullshit. Well, yeah, of what course it was. it was. What it was about is the ability to have our own money. And break away from a king. See that what they never teach you in school is that the colonies had their own money. They had colonial or uh, what they call it. It was some script. Put a link in uh, the notes if you want to, or put a link in the RLM and I'll copy it and put it in the I don't notes. Have a link. Ah, you teaser. Yeah. Rob's teasing you guys with his memory. Okay, hey, let me ask you this, Rob. If uh, if you were to meet somebody that was interested in what it is you know, and the first thing you came up with was meet your straw man, 
How would you discuss something like that with somebody else? I mean, wow, what a concept. I, I do it with Cirque all the time, but me and Cirque both know. I have a hard time with that. Well, okay, the way I understand, I'll tell you who's really good at explaining this stuff. Clint Richardson at UCY. Okay. Man, the guy has been doing radio on and off for a long time. And he stops. He stopped to write a book. And then now look, he's been, uh, they've been posting random encore episodes. But he's been coming on live with Shalai Lama once every month or two. Yeah. So, yeah. And I'm telling you, I'm, I am not the best guy at explaining this stuff. I don't claim to be, but really not. right. But I can lead you to the people that explain it in a way that is concise and clear. And if you want yeah. to follow that up, that's on you. But we're doing a talk show, so I'm going to give trying to explain meeting your straw man. I'll be the old guy, yeah. and you be the new guy, and I'll I'll tell you all about your straw man. Yeah, see, I I went through the whole straw man thing years ago. Okay. Yeah. I didn't. And, and I went right past it, right through it, right past it. Uh, uh, I know we've talked about it in the chat room before. You probably know what I'm talking about. Uh, Canadian guy, Robert Menard, did a little video called Bursting Bubbles of Government Deception. I'm not right off the top of my head, no. But well, I've that's, seen that's so much of this stuff. With your meet your straw man thing. Uh, that's basically what he goes through and talks about the straw man uh, and how it's like a coat. You put it on when you need it and you take it off when you don't. Yeah, and that's sad that we just can't live in, in a truth, yeah. in a reality that we've got to live in a fiction so that the system that we pretend to you know play in actually functions. Cause yeah, if, see, if, I, I I learned all that straw man stuff and redemption and accepted for value and all those things and uh, you're still playing in that game. You're still playing the game. Well, that is because a lot of folks still don't need the world. Well, they don't want to admit or accept maybe that applying is begging. First, right. first rule in life, right there. If you, when me and Cirque applied to get married, we were merging our straw men, so that you know the government had to have the okay to merge these two straw men and make one straw man. Or not. They went with making the straw man, so life was easy. You know, there was no yeah. hurdles, no problems. And uh, Cirque says a lot of that was just because I'm American. It's one of the more favored uh, passport statuses in the blah, 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 blah. Well, if you haven't seen that, here, I'll go ahead and link it up. Um, I'll, put it in, I'll put it in the you notes. Should watch that. You should watch that. Bursting bubbles of government deception. Yeah, I'm always looking at st I listen to the opposition. The, I listen to people I agree with. I'm fairly open about all this stuff. You know, it's just I have my opinions that I voice. And I think that outside of um, Cirque, most of my opinions are subject to change. Yeah. You know. That thing, that thing is 10 years old. That's 10 years okay. ago. Okay. Well, okay. Uh, Robert Menard, burst in bubbles of government will be in the notes and show notes today. And, and see this, second, yeah. and this is yeah. why I prefer to have somebody come along and let me interrupt them with my crap and talk about stuff that you might not talk about very often. Here's another one: the the Federal Reserve Bank situation that we truly have compared to the Federal Reserve Bank story that we get told. They're two different okay. animals. Well, how, okay. Oh, Rob, it's not like we're children, but yet we live in this That's world right. where people behave like children. Exactly. 
Okay, and I got bursting bubbles of government deception loaded up here for you. Yeah, you should watch that. Oh, I will. It's it's. I probably already you know, have. Beat their straw man thing. Yeah, he's a comedian. The guy's funny. Oh, that's even better. But you know, that's, maybe maybe that's a yeah, good way to. He, he that, had a real big following, and but they put him down or something. Uh, well, still maybe that's a good way to teach somebody new that doesn't know. Make oh, them, yeah. Make them laugh. Yeah, but intro to the whole straw man uh, government cohesion contracts and all that kind of stuff. Well, I don't get how people could trust this government stuff from any country, by the way. Well, if you ask people, they'll say, oh, no, I don't trust the government. Mm -hmm. But you, <laughs> you don't stand for the flag and it's, oh, my God. Uh -huh. Well, you yeah, know. it should, I hate to say this, but I think they're pretty much the same here with the flag, the Danish flag, because oh, yeah, through all, the neighborhood, all, uh, it, this, is, this is our country. Well, right, they they recognize different holidays with different versions of the flag. Yeah, yeah. And some of the neighbors got forty foot poles in their yards, and those flags. <laughs> So, just like in America or anywhere else. Well, not England. England wasn't like that. Couldn't fly the Union Jack. The bitch would get pulled down. You'd go to get in trouble. It's getting that way here. Isn't that right? Well, I don't know. What's, I don't really like to pick sides and stupid shit like that. But they are battle flags, so you think about it. What do you want? Yeah, I don't want any of them. Burn them all as far as I'm concerned. Right. And now, fortunately, I'm at the end of the world where I live. Nobody wants to come here. This place will never develop and be overcrowded. It's just not right. not going to happen, ever. So, well. If I had an easy way to get there, shit, I'd be there too. Well, you know, see, playing the game is subjective to your needs. And I think that a, a system that would do the horrible crap for money it would do to you deserves to be treated accordingly. But that's me. You know, I'm not promoting any bad ideas out there in the radio land. I'm just saying, you know, I think that you get what you give, but yet the government treats us all equally like shit. So it kind of messes up my theory. <laughs> <laughs> know what I mean, Rob? Because I don't think that you or I or anybody I know on the real liberty media dot com is big enough to have insulted this wonderful United States of America thing. Right? We're not even a blood In radar. any way, shape, or yeah. And what the best part about it of all of this is I, I understand we live on credit. There is no money. No such thing as money. Money does not exist. You just believe it does. So there. Sure. Okay. Well, that's mo okay. This is how I survive this. <laughs> and everybody else laughs at me. But yet, all the time, there's all these crashes and problems. And the market's up. Oh, shit. The market's down. Oh, shit. The market's up again. You know. Are you guys serious? Do you not know a, a hotel casino when you see one? <laughs> I really, Rob. Please, come on. It, you can go oh. into a it, you can go into a casino with a thousand in cash, and if you were very fortunate and lucky, you could make a lot of money. Okay, and on the other hand, you could go and lose it all in five minutes. Well, yep. that that's the same as the stock market. It's so sad. Right, but all their all their fucking stuff's all done electronic and paper. There's no oh, money. There's no yeah. currency trading hands there. So what are they doing? Passing digits across the wire. It sells to the common guy that wants to you know, live in a six-digit figure salary or, or eight or nine or ten or twenty. Those people, the greedy ones that don't know what enough is. Right. Well, it gets mistaken for entitlement. You know, 
Hell, who needs more than a million dollars? I mean, I got. I don't know. Oh wow! See, it's such a big. I guess it would if if only a few people didn't do what the do what they're doing. It would expose the fucking whole thing for what it truly is. Because there's absolutely no reason for the government just to credit every American on you know with a social security number, ten million dollars tomorrow morning. Talk about a boost in the economy. Yeah. Shit yeah. would be flying off the fucking shelves, jobs, you talk, you name it. And they, yeah. but see, they, they are. We have been. We've been trained to look at each other and see lazy slots. And you'd be paying a barrel full of, a wheelbarrow full of money for a loaf of bread. I don't. That's I, what, I, that's I, what hmm. creates hyperinflation. Just free printing of the money. I mean, that doesn't work. I don't want to live like that. Well, how does to have balance? It has to be. Not when itself. it's created with a debt attached to it. Yes. Well, if the. If the third, if the Rothschilds didn't do that third-party interest rate thing, and the government printed its own money, most of the debt we are in wouldn't exist. True, but you can't explain that to the average Joe because he doesn't understand it for some reason. They seem to have been believe they believe or whatever that this Federal Reserve Bank is good and what we need. It's a fucking it's a oh, Jew yeah. trap. It's, they're think people think it does exactly the opposite of what it does, which is creates it creates the boom and bust cycle, is what it does. Uh, it does absolutely no good for it, uh, except for a few select families on this planet. Sure. And then look at all this crap with Biden. You know, every every uh, political cycle of four to eight years, they get some new dick to sit in the White House. And with him comes all these, you know, oh, we're going to expose this. And, oh, look at this guy. And, oh, all these bad things. These yeah, bloated families. With, with, yeah, but they're bloated families. They've got billions and billions of fucking dollars. And they're, they're in politics. And they're in every fucking thing. Yet... Because some people post about it on the internet, they're going to suddenly be uh, prosecuted for their crimes. No, they're not. And even if they are, they're going to get pardoned. No, royalty doesn't get prosecuted. It, and even if it should, they'll pardon it. I don't know how far they're going to drag this Prince Andrew thing down the road, but the guy's been, you know, slobbering all over young aged girls since the 70s in public. And mock for it. So it's not like some secret that people are being exposed to. They're, yeah, we know. This how it's how fucked up life is, Rob. Boy. And I guess that makes me a prude, huh? Yeah. Can you do you see me as a prude now? Because I think a lot of what society is doing is fucked up. <laughs> I don't see it as a prude at all. Oh, well, a modern-day mind probably would. Well, no, the modern-day minds here that speak English seem to understand me pretty good. So I don't, I, I don't know what it is. It must be in the uh, news, something that people are, are uh, exposed to collectively that they don't get here. These kids don't watch TV. <laughs> but they spend a lot of time doing music. Music and uh, gaming. Yeah. But no interest in, you know, the traditional TV shit shows. They've got a pirate copy of... Yeah, free, of uh, they got an Xbox now or a PlayStation. I don't know, but I've been over the place and it's computers as far as I could tell. But anyway, you said get, get one of those... Phone, dumb fucking shit out of it. What? Out of what? Um, Oh, I hate those things. I don't want no phone. Cirque wants me to have a phone. But me, not really. I grew up without a phone. I really re- miss those days when, you know, hadn't seen you for a couple of days. wasn't a big deal, you know. Yeah. But now I, I live where I'm familiar. You know, I'm a familiar face. 
So if I don't show up for a month or two, they, they notice. Yeah. Well, that's weird to me because the anon, anonymity, so to speak, of the, you know, of a city of a hundred thousand. Yeah, you don't get that in the small towns. Well, you're right. But where I was living, the population, we, we had a lot of people traveling in and out, in and out all the time that didn't show up on the census crap. But they were there. So I figure it was about a hundred grand. And it was easy to just mix into that hundred thousand people and not really be noticed. Okay. I thought you might be familiar with that concept. Uh, sorry, I got distracted. Well, I, I'm five foot four and I got hair down about a little more than halfway down my back. And sometimes I get, I get a beard and it's gray. So there's not a lot of people that look like me. But yeah. after a while, either I blend in because I've been there so much, nobody notices like a couple of times. But here in this smaller town, it's not the notice that I'm there. It's the notice that I'm not there. <laughs> right. So, well, when you're from a, a big city like I'm from in the first place, it's so alien, I think. You know, because these people are, uh, they're taxpayers and they're flag wavers. Everything that I'm not for my, you know, corporation, they are. And I can't, what can I do about that? My hands are tied. I can only f seek my own kind, so to speak. But but to to discuss these topics, nah, we go to the house. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Play some comedy on the TV and maybe some games on the computer, but there's no social society that is prepared for the truth about itself. <laughs> yeah, they don't want to know. Well, would... As long as they got their beer and their game on Saturday. Do you play the driver's license game, or do you risk it? I haven't had a driver's license since 2006. It's a while. Now, on the other side of that, driving you know, habits seem to make a big difference, too. I think that if you drive like a normal human being, whatever that may be, uh, within the confines of the, your freedom, within the law, that life will be good. But if you're out there, you know, attracting a lot of unnecessary attention in ignorant ways, and breaking speed laws... And, Running lights and show, you're gonna get, you're acting stupid. So, and not, yeah. not so much that I, in my mind, well, I don't think it deserves the enforcement it gets. I think they've gone way too far with all this shit. Well, my, re my rebellious nature, uh, I used to be, uh, one of those stupid people that would, uh, Fuck your speed limit. I'll drive whatever speed I want. Oh, here. no. Bad, bad. Oh, man. And yada, yada, yada. Wow. Yeah. So How do you feel about it now, though? More than a few nights in jail over speeding and traffic bullshit. Yeah, but do you then feel... Realized, yeah, okay. Then I realized that, uh, you know, you got to look at it like this. You're living behind enemy lines. Yeah, good point. And uh, so you have to be defensive, yeah. yeah. You know, and it's it's not that I'm giving in to their rules; it's that I'm I'm protecting myself. Call it survival, yeah. It's a survival thing, sure. yeah. It's a, and you know, and it, it varies know, from are thrown in a fucking cage. And it varies from place to place, depending on you know, where you live. Because yeah. some yeah, places you don't need things. Like like the Eddie Craig hmm. uh, that I, on my show. He's been doing it for a couple of decades now. He's been fighting them, and he's won. He's he's helped a lot of people win. He's cost us the city of Austin over a million dollars in, in traffic revenue. Um. But you never really win. 
I well, mean, right. Plus all the waste of all the, all the resources that we do use, pretty much it's all waste anyway. We don't do a lot of productive shit with what we have. There's a saying, it's called the, you might beat the rat, but you can't beat the ride. Tell me if you've heard of this or not. Now, I, I heard or I read somewhere that they've come up with a windmill that can work in all four directions, depending on which way the wind blows. Now, I, I'm just thinking maybe that's possible because <coughs> Cirque had made a common uh, a notice of, you know how they have three gears, huh? A windmill that works in all four directions. Yeah, but I'm going to preface it with. Fucking invented. Well, I don't know, but except for maybe the the old Dutch ones. Well, right, that's the, okay. But the three the three I mean, prong gears pills that they use for water they they spin around. They've got a big tail on the back, and whichever way the wind's blowing, it spins it around so that it faces the wind. There you go. See, so these things are possible, right? And <laughs> okay. we wait and. We waste all our time per- pursuing better ways to do shit that they could do a hundred years ago or more. Okay. I think that the reality that we live in is so fucked up that if they don't stop it, it's going to destroy a lot of people. It's moving too fast. It's not the right frequencies to be doing this shit on. <laughs> They're yeah. experimenting on us and, and they know it. Well, we We care. don't know it. I know that. They want, I know they that. Want to get ninety three some odd percent of us. They wrote it in fucking stone for Pete's sake. I wonder. Oh wow. What do you figure it is? Religion, education, and politics working together as a team. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, thank you. Well, how do you stay out of those three areas? Because they've got you. Most three of them's got some, everybody. One of them. No matter, I've stayed out of all three so far. I just like to cry Jew because I think they might win. I go to the grocery store. I go out to eat every once in a while. Yeah. I was going to the bathhouse, but I'll let that membership go because I don't uh, Huh. It was nice, but... uh, See, is is it just people are just not... They're not putting anything back into what they're taking or what? Into what? Well, when you when you engage other people in public, you, you bring yourself to it. So whatever you are, you brought it. You know? Yeah. Right. Well, well people, if you're surrounded by freaking idiots actually, in the first up. place, you could be a you you can be a bright light bulb and ain't gonna change anything. Well, some some societies I've just defined a, a few of them. And we all know those places exist. Because, well, sadly, because we know all the horrible truth about this crap that other people think is uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Rob, it's just so sad to, to read people uh, that support the system. It, it is. I, I don't know any other way to put it. I'm not looking down on them. I'm just saying that this system is so obviously failed. How can you support it? And what it does over here. Oh, man. I I cringe when people recognize that I'm American. I don't like it so much anymore. Because I've been away from it so long. Yeah. Well, yeah, but it's, see, it's got a, uh, it's got a Jekyll and Hyde to it. Mm -hmm. Well, other people don't know about the, the, hide they only know about the, the doctor yeah. and they don't know about doctors what we've learned rlm radio listeners rlm chatters people that you know know us so on we know stuff that common people don't know and they'll never hurt they'll never hear it they'll never know and because if they did hear it they're programmed to already reject it they've they've yeah First they were programmed and they've gotten all their information from a fucking TV. <laughs> Just like us. <laughs> yeah, and it's not easy to... 
Well, I think it was the lack of TV it took well, me. I didn't really, well, of course, you never really. I, I can't even say I'm completely uh, deprogrammed myself. No, uh, fuck no. I've got my I've got my indoctrination. I've I've said this many times, but at the point of being re- repetitive, <laughs> but I embrace it. You know, it's not like an enemy. It's just yeah. I'm a whole human being. And it, ask my wife sometimes. I'm sometimes I just do dumb shit, just like the next mofo. No different. Right. No, I'm no better, no worse. Just I'm just a version of a male carbon-based life form. There you go. But <laughs> here she comes. <laughs> and uh, but you know, self-assessment because you can you can push yourself on people in ways that are. They're, they're not attractive. People already have their own opinions about you. L- leave those things alone. <laughs> yeah, see, I, I don't want to say that. But we're, I run out of time real fast because I, I don't have patience for bullshit. Right, and we, I do. It's probably one of the few things I have patience for. It's a little bullshit. Because I grew, I grew up. I've seen the world change in different countries at different times in history. Where, wow, it sure looked different from that place than it does from this place. Yeah. Hmm. Well, uh, yeah, and then, well, and then we've got this system, this political system that obviously does not work, and and e- each side villainizes the other side. And they never stop to think about these fuckers work together on your behalf. And you just called half or more of half of them fucking cunts. <laughs> so, I know this. When I go to work, I remember the guy that called me a fucking cunt. Yeah. And you know what? I ain't got no pity for that, man, because you know what he called me? Bad name. And now my feelings are hurt. And, yeah, they put on that show. and Monsanto's going to pay me so much money to vote yes for their bill that I think I'm going to do it. Yeah. That's a senator for you right there, or a congressman. All these pricks, they get oh, fucking no. rich. Left versus right, dim versus... We're screwed, Rob. And it's all written down in yeah. these yeah. laws. It, it, it's, it's unanimous vote. Well, beyond all that voting schmoding crap, trillion dollars for the war machine, right? You but know, they've got oh, they're all on board for that shit, and they got us all. We're a captive audience. What are you going to do? You can't change. You can't do anything. Their money right. is interfering with my life here in Denmark. The American uh, war on drugs. Can you imagine a thing like that, Rob? What's that? That. The American war on drugs is interfering with my drug flow, and it's upsetting me. Uh, But what can I do about it? Fuck all, because Uh, it's still against me. See, me and Ash were talking about that yesterday. He says, wow, and why is this stuff still illegal? And he says, because people are stupid. And he's... I was big on it too, but this is a twenty-four-year-old kid. When I asked him, I would say, "Oh no, y'all are y'all are going way too far on the on drug legalization. Is y'all need to stop that shit?" It's all the same. Legal or illegal is they need to decriminalize, and they're not going to do that. Okay. What's what too. Portugal did? They need to. They need to all burn in hell. Well, right, but well, I. Uh, okay, you know what? I saw a comedian talk about that. Yeah, but I thought saw a comedian talking about hell, right? And it made me laugh because his version of hell was, well, if that's where all the cool people go, where does all the burning and punishing come in? Because <laughs> I ain't going to do that to my friends. And I'm probably one of the people that's going to be considered hellbound. But I ain't burning anyone else. So where... Or anyway, but, but that whole mentality of punishment forever and what stupid shit like that when yeah. all this stuff does is punishes you now where you are, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. 
Because you only have so much time in life to do so much shit. And if you uh, if you go by government guidelines to judge what is doable and what isn't, you're going to be sorry. Someday you'll have you'll be one of those people that said, "I wish I would have done that." And I've I can totally relate to that. Yeah, I've lived a whole life, almost sixty years. And that almost that goes back to I wish I'd have known that. <laughs> yeah, and I'm saying, but I didn't know anything. I'd have known that, I would have done that. I didn't know anything, Rob. I just did shit. That's the whole point. Exactly. Is I I'm just a, a a recipient of blind do da nothing. No plans, no, I'm going to do this, no, I'm going to go there. Just shit happened, and I went with it. Well, and that's, that's, that's the story of everybody, really. I don't, I don't know. What about the, what about the guy that joins the police force and shoots somebody's dog? Is that what he planned on? <laughs> hmm. Probably not. Not originally. What kind of mind do you think it would take to do it? I think I think people become cops because they want to help their society, their neighborhood, their people. So what? They get all caught up in the greed and get all up there, and it, and it's the same thing with the uh, politicians. Oh yeah, they, all your new politicians, your freshmen, they go up there with all bright eyed, bushy tailed, going to save the world. Da 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 da, and they get up there and they find out, oh, hmm. I ain't gonna be able to do shit because I'm a nobody, hmm. and you don't get anywhere unless you raise money and contribute to the fund. And, uh, <laughs> Join the club. Yeah. You don't forget to sign your oath of loyalty to Israel while you're there. See, yeah, you know, begging for you, freedom. Yeah. They get up there, they find out, oh, we we really don't have any power. Well, the whole concept has just been misrepresented to us in the first place, Rob. I mean, if they told you the reality of voting is only slaves vote, then who would want to? You don't do that. You tell them the opposite to get them to do... It's like uh, training a dog. You don't have to... You don't have to... uh, Hannah knows how to do tricks in Danish and in English. And uh-huh. Cirque does this thing with a bit of food, and the dog won't go near the food in, until Cirque quits telling her it's German. <laughs> yeah. And she'll go, okay, it's Danish, and then the dog will eat it. But she won't go near it until. Well, yeah. maybe we're we're not too far from that, Rob. Is what I'm in. I'm in, kind of insinuating here in the background. Yeah, I, I get totally get that. That and I'm not excluding myself from that group. I just think that uh, my my interest level is so limited that shit like Donald Trump's freaking uh, pen signing a bit of paper doesn't make my dick hard at all. I don't. Even, I, I see it more as comic relief, you know. And then the welcome that the man has here amongst the locals is pitiful. He didn't impress it. Now the, the Danes don't care for him. He's a little uppity for the local people. Now in yeah. Copenhagen it might be different because people are, you know, commerce and business. And, but this is a little slower and shit. Yeah. So yeah, when he tried to when he tried to insinuate that they wanted to buy Greenland, nah, that was that was just like it was rude. It's hard. To, that's not really what he said. It was how he said what he said. And it, it got people going, wow, this guy's an idiot. <laughs> so, yeah, it's sad. You know, and I got, uh, now Cirque's nephew, Ollie, he's 15 now. And this kid's been punking me about America for years. Yeah. Yeah, and he knows. He knows the moon landing was fake. <laughs> He knew that years ago. He was teasing me about it when he was like 12. <laughs> like, he didn't know I knew. He knew that Cirque knew, but he didn't know for sure one way or the other because I never told him. Yeah. Well, when I first met the kid, his English and my Danish were about the same. So I wanted him to understand 
a, a like a life lesson, one quick thing that would let him know who I was without all the talk, right? Yeah. So I made a fist and I closed my hand and I told him, there's only one way to open this hand. Well, there's two ways to do it, but only one way is necessary to open the hand. So he just asked me what it was. And I said, you asked me. So instead of trying to you know, be all manly man, he just asked first. He's a smart kid. So he now he know, you know from the, that moment on, getting along with his kid, while well, he's been growing up, it's been easy. Yeah. Hmm? Well, I live a very simple life, like I talk about on the radio. You know, stuff doesn't ever get out of hand. We don't have all that negative. Cirque's family treats me fine. I treat them fine back. And the world spins around us, I suppose. Yeah. So all this drama, corona flu, <laughs> coronavirus. <laughs> what do you think, Rob? Uh, it's no different than the last eight fucking pandemics that we're going to have to kill everybody. Okay, Captain Buzzkill. You, you know, I read that the... the microscopic things, the virus beads or whatever they're called, right? They, yeah. They're they small as point one something, blah, blah, blah. But the mask is, the mask will stop anything from point three. <laughs> I about died laughing. Uh, okay. What's the point of the mask? But yeah. I guess... It's all about- it's all about image. You have to be able to understand what you're reading. But do you feel safe? Maybe I'm doing the math wrong. Oh, yeah, I feel safe. You know why I feel as safe? As long as you feel safe, that's what matters, yeah. isn't it? Well, I, I don't fear all this man-made. All I'm, I, you know, I told that's him. All the stop the panic. That's all that's for. Me and Sir... Just want to be home at the same time when they blow it up so we can watch the fire off the balcony. Yeah. Or the porch, I mean. But, you know, it would be a drag to go through all this shit and end up in a big old, you know, puff of nuclear bomb or whatever and be all by yourself. That that would really be a drag. I'm kind of selfish like that. Yeah. Well, yeah, I don't want to go. I don't want to go alone, but I don't necessarily want to take an entire planet with me either. <laughs> it's a, like Gribbs written for the meteor. <laughs> Fucker. Yeah, Mister Selfish. Hey, look who came to visit the RLF chat. Yeah. Hey, yeah. <laughs> He's a kick. We're handsome. Time for some education. Well, do you? I don't. I don't even know how to feel about that. His intentions are good, because the information is all crap. <laughs> you know, how can you? Know. How can you have good intentions if you're telling people a bunch of bullshit? Where Where yeah. does the good come in in that? That's my question. <laughs> well, well. <laughs> here for the same reason he goes to Starbucks. What? Oh, yeah, to disrupt and, and make people uncomfortable. Just to come talk shit and, and uh, oh, well. stroke his own ego. Well, I'm going to try to do that, too. Show everybody how small he is. Hey, when my cult catches on, you'll be sorry. All of you. Ah, ha, ha, ha. I'll unleash my minions on all of you. Ah, ha, ha. No, that you know the kind of cult I want to have is the kind of cult that nobody belongs to, but they all know it's there. Right. Okay. It's kind of like the uh, I call it an, an anarchist stand that I carry, or that I recognize in you, or say Grimnir, for example, because you can't do anything to prove it. You. You don't do things to, to prove it. <laughs> and not participating in something is just as valuable as participating in it. So, 
It's a numbers game, I suppose, at this point. We're all balancing and juggling along while Rob coughs up his pipe load. <laughs> but he, he oh, muted on us. <laughs> you all right? Oh, I am fine. Oh, I thought you I thought you muted because you pipe loaded on on us. Anyway. Good for you. You you whip that there weed, mister. Anyway. Hmm. So we made it through, I guess, the strum. I was going to try to give you an example of, of how I would define that to somebody else that didn't understand it. And I guess the simplest way to put it is the reason you need a lawyer in court is because they're not speaking for you. They're speaking for themselves. In you know, in your person. And it's it's you because you're allowing it. <laughs> and no way out. So well, that just sounded more fucked up than the, the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it's... I, I, I don't call, you, call them liars for no reason. No, no, but the black and white understanding of this, after years of it, gets... I guess it's hard. It just becomes harder to define to a, somebody else that doesn't already know. Because we've made so many jokes about it over the years. And, yeah. Kind of accepted. It's like the ugly, you know, it's like that ugly kid. You can't tell the kids ugly. Oh, God, you're so beautiful. But, you know, no. Because <laughs> God had a sense of humor with your face. <laughs> yeah. But you don't do that to people. I mean, people do, but it, it's morally wrong and it's rude. But we're morally wrong and rude. Yeah. And boy, is it encouraged now or what? You see any of that? Uh, I didn't see one second of video of the Super Bowl crap, but I saw a lot of text and a lot of links that I could have opened with video of that Super Bowl crap. And I don't know. I don't get it. I no interest at all. <laughs> You, I clicked and watched the halftime porn show. Did you? Was it any good? Eyes, uh, bunch of hot chicks jumping around. Would you? Their would you? Would you, would you want your fifteen-year-old daughter sitting there watching it with you? Uh, if I had a fifteen-year-old daughter, there wouldn't be a TV in my room. Okay, there no, you go. Yeah. Wouldn't have played it in front of her. Yeah. Okay. See, because we come from a different time when. Uh, whether something's right or wrong is not really the issue. It's shoving your shit in my face that I object to. You know, not not that you want to walk your you know your boyfriend down fucking Market Street on a leash wearing a G string. Okay, that's your problem. But you know that you want to make a, a law that says it's okay. Wait a minute. <laughs> now nah, you're pushing it. Yeah, matter of fact, if I had kids, I'd be one of those people living out in the woods off the grid with mm -hmm. no TV, no phone, none of that crap. Oh, you'd be like a hermit the frog. Yeah. Hermit the frog. I was trying to be funny there, Rob. Frontiersman. We're bombing in Denmark. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to In a Perfect World, where tonight, me, Flash, is... Having a little chitter chatter with Rob Words. Hey, Rob, you want to give us an update on your new snake oil? Because uh, my new snake oil. Well, it's new. It's going to be new to a lot of people for a long time. Because word of mouth takes yeah. forever. Um, it's going. I've got about thirty people signed. Uh, not personally signed up, but I got thirty people in my downline. So um, see, there you go. And the word of mouth is really what. That's what people want. More than anything now, because we got instant everything. So you got a phone, you can check on something in like five point six seconds. Yeah, yeah. People that are looking for something, uh, it's easy to find. The well, what about people that don't know what they're or that they are looking? They don't even know something exists. Well, what about the brainwashed that still think that 
you know, hemp is the devil's lettuce. It'll I'm make you ready. run after reindeers and believe in Santa Claus. I, I, I haven't had anybody uh, say that. Is have you run into an age barrier, or do you deal with people young, old? What, 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 what? I don't uh, know. Do you I, know? Uh, I actually uh, hmm. gave a sample bottle out to a waitress at the restaurant yesterday. Went out for breakfast and. The waitress was limping. Oh. Was talking to somebody else about how she was getting cortisone shots in her knee or something. Oh, wow. And so I just went up and asked her, hey, have you ever tried CBD oil? Mm-hmm. And she says, oh, yeah, I got like $500 worth of it at home. <laughs> and, wow. Uh, I said, you know, how's it doing? How's it working for you? And she's like, eh. It seems to maybe help a little bit, but not nothing to. And I was so I just said, well, if I brought you a free sample, would you try it? She's like, yeah. And I went and told her about the nano particulation and all the ninety plus vitamins and minerals and nootropics and adaptogens and electrolytes and resveratrol and ashwagandha and all the things it's got in it. And she was like, oh, cool. Sounds great. I'll try it. So I just gave her that yesterday. So see how that goes. Dun, but dun, dun, dun. It, it, it's hard. This kind of business is it's hard to do because, you know, they want you to go through your friend list. And Friends, my, yeah. My, my friend list is, is uh, consists of the members of our own chat room. Oh, <laughs> speaking of friends, I've got a friend, and I knew she she's on Facebook. Well, Ash is on Facebook, but I'm not on Facebook. But he contacted her for me through Facebook. So okay. now she, she knows I'm still alive and I'm in Denmark, so... Uh, But the reason I want to contact her in the first place is when I had first met her, this goes back years, uh, before she had got, before she had her child and on and on. Now the kid's like, I think 10 or 12. (laughs) Anyway, I helped her get started in her real estate business that she's in. Okay. So it's not so much owe me a favor. But I know that if if I need anything, you know, I know there's certain people that stay loyal to, oh, yeah, what do you need? I can help you with that. (laughs) You help me with this. And over the years that, you know, we did all that. Well, she's in real estate and Woody wants to get into real estate. I don't know if if there's any kind of help available to Woody, but the girl's connected. (laughs) She does stuff. And right. Break into Right. Well, but still, here's this internet thing that I refuse to be a part of on the on the socially acceptable level. You know, be a Facebook boy, you know, Twitter twat. I don't do any of that shit, so it, it fucks with my relationships on the internet world. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I think people think I'm uppity because I don't want to play Facebook with them. <laughs> it, well, it's like the cell phone. It gives you this moral depravity that people respond to. What? You're not on Facebook? What's wrong with you? Uh, hmm. I can read. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, like, uh, hmm. I was out and about the other day. This was before the CBD old stuff. Oh, I was at the bathhouse a few weeks ago, Um, and the guy asked me something about, I think it was a football, yeah, it was a football game. Did you watch that whatever, whatever game? (laughs) I'm like, no, I don't even have a TV in my house. He's like, what? (laughs) You can't live without a TV. Oh, yeah. You live without a TV. Plenty. I mean, really taken aback and just like, I, like it's just completely unheard of for somebody to not have a TV in their house. 
Yeah, it is. That was just that was creepy. It's as normal as macaroni. I run into that shit all the time. That's why I get so freaking frustrated and and on the verge of depression, really. Wow, you know, me and Cirque do problems of that nature. Huh? We demodernize because I believe what you and Larry Woods and, and Vinny and. Uh, Don, all, all the electrical guys, you know, Cowboy Tech and Grimm, everybody agrees on certain principles that I've listened to you guys, you know, or or read what you had to say about these things. So over the years, I, I've made up my own mind about it, and I, I think that if we were if we were fueled better than we are, the results would be better. So this is a definite. Uh, byproduct of what society wants. This low life commonality bullshit. Yeah. It's impossible to, to uh, enjoy life if everybody's miserable around you. So it seems to me that what society's main goal is to keep everybody fucked up and angry. Mean and yeah. You know, spiteful and punish and hurt and all this kind of wonderful shit. Well, yeah, I remember back in the day when you know, the you know on the weekends people would gather somewhere at a river. Like I used to go to this place called Five Mile Dam. And this was twenty-five, well, almost thirty years ago. And, you know, we used to go, and people would just show up. We'd pull our cars right up next to the river. We'd have a little campfire. We'd set up a horseshoe. Yeah, bit. did that at the public yeah. beaches. Everybody would drink beer, da 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 You know, the cops would drive through as long as nobody's shooting or beating each other up mm-hmm. or anything. Yeah. Cruise on. Long Beach, Redondo yeah. Beach, Seal Beach, Huntington Beach. Oh, and there was a lot went back there several years later and the whole thing's fenced off and it's got the gates and he closed it in and no glass bottles and no firearms and no nothing and you know don't be having any fun out here you know it just completely ruined it Mm -hmm. that was one of the that was one of the real uh, uh, times where I had a this Things hit me, you know. We're it's just like everything's going to shit, man. Right and now, there's there's nowhere to go that you can't that you can get away from these fascist control freak motherfuckers. That's what I've been reading, and so yeah. and people it's... can't people can't uh, just gather and peaceably assemble. And it's not only English speaking. All monster wannabe motherfucker coming and fucking their day up. Well, hmm. what would you blame that on? Maybe it's because we're, we're always begging for the enslavement that we're in, but we don't know that. If you knew that before you did it, you might not do it. But most people well, would say, yeah, I'd do it anyway because... Well, when you beg for a license, you're just getting permission to break a fucking written law. That's what that license is. Yeah, it's a license, permission to do something that's otherwise illegal. And then they can punish you for infractions of that bullshit because you agreed to the first bullshit. So, nah, leave me alone. And I've taken it to the extreme to I won't even drive anymore. And I could drive around here. Nobody would fucking give a fuck if I drove a car. We don't have, you know, the physical uh, police authority in the, in the city all the time. Maybe once or twice a month, if that. That's them going through town to go somewhere. Every single day. Yeah. No. I'm, I can't remember the last time. Probably two months since I saw it. All. Eight blocks away, too, so... <laughs> Right. No, there's no police for 20 kilometers. And they get pissed off if they call them out here for stuff that's not important. Yeah, if you're not, somebody's not killing somebody or something <laughs> like that. No, we had some violence finally, though. But 
it was a misunderstanding of some kind. Somebody fucked up on who they were attacking and got the wrong fucking guy. Okay. So that's just an idiot being an idiot and some poor schmo getting, you know, the shit stick of somebody else being an idiot. Yeah. That's why I'm so yeah. dead against physical violence, Rob. And it's not because I'm afraid. I, fuck, I got scars all over me from doing shit. It's that it, in a common sense, you know, an intelligent world, violence is frowned upon as something an animal does to survive. Yeah. So why are we glorified for doing it? I get confused. I'm telling you, man, I I openly do not have any fucking respect for none of this military or police or any of that save your life brigade fucking doctors and lawyers and judges, all those fucking seats of fucking decision. Those people should be they should be abandoned in a big overcrowded city at four in the morning without any money. Uh, yeah. yeah. And monitor to make sure they don't cheat, get help from somebody. You got to do it yourself. You want it, you take it. What? <laughs> Just like you do with taxes, only oh. only nicer. I have to take the risk? No, no, no. I want the politicians. I See, pe- like people were going on about re- when it was a big thing to punish Hillary. Prison Hillary, prison Hillary. And I said, fuck that. You know what you do with Hillary is... You put her in downtown Detroit at four in the morning with no money, with no phone, and you watch her. You make sure nobody helps her. If anybody tries to help her, you shoot them. <laughs> that would be a punishment. Yeah. And you could find some lunatic that would do that for for a paycheck, Rob. You know what? We got plenty of people. Why don't we just put them out of our misery? Because it's it's not nice. It'd be a whole lot smarter to just. I'm not here to be nice. Fuck them. Well, yeah, I, I'm. Well, con- see, that, I, I that got, world has hardened me that way because I. I, I, I understand I, that. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just identifying what I do. My wife won't have it. She'll get, be all nasty to me. So I got to be nice sometimes. Not to everybody. Only you know. Only if you're nice to me and I'm not nice to you. That's an obvious thing. She would notice that. So, you know. But well, I try to please my wife as much as possible. Because I don't really give two flying fucks half the time myself. But because of her, I'm all squishy and soft like a squid. <laughs> like a jellyfish. I respond better to respectfulness than nice. <laughs> well, it... It's the same. Respect is, is Isn't way, it? No, it's not. It's no? not even close to the same thing. Well, I, just, I'm doing nice. my best at giving giving her her way in a in a mental you know situation. That, right. That's compromise. I don't compromise well, Rob. I'm a tyrant. I want to um, have a cult. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Someday I'll tell the members that they're members, and they'll be surprised. Well, that's uh Well, I consider you capable of being self-responsible. And the way I define self-responsibility, I believe if you fuck something up, you go, "Uh-oh, oh, I fucked something up. How do I fix it?" I don't think you're the kind of guy that's going to fuck something up and then go blame Donald Trump for it not working. And complain a lot. Right. No. The Donald made me do it. Ah! <laughs> you know, shit like that. No, 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 no. But, see, we've only got the, the text and the radio for a little bit of chatter to come to these great determinations about other people that we don't know. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> it's amusing. If you take this as anything more than entertainment, or maybe a little bit of knowledge that you might not have heard before. Go, hey, I'm going to check that out. We encourage that at reallibertymedia.com. We think that if you can show me where I'm wrong in something I state, I'll look at it. 
And not only will I look at it, I'll even say, hey, look, I was wrong. I thought this, and it turned out to be something completely different, and this is what it is. Because yeah. I don't think there's any, uh, there's no shame in making a mistake. Fuck's sake. I mean, unless you're a, a perfect. Who's perfect? Yeah. Not you? Wait a minute. Well, let's let's assign somebody to be perfect and see how long that takes them to, to not be perfect. <laughs> perfect for you. Perfect. <laughs> well, well there's, there's seven billion different perfects. Yeah, isn't that some? And so, and we all know each other too because we're we're so crowded together. Yeah, it's such a small rock, isn't it? Uh, I find a corner somewhere. Believe me, it's not so bad. The smaller things are, and I've been reading. Coming here, I have been reading just the coolest shit about Portugal. And I'm, yeah. I'm telling you, I wonder if you could uh, move there and claim uh, some kind of asylum. <laughs> Never mind. I, Actually looked at that once, and they're real. They have uh, a real tough uh, immigration policy. Well, of course they would, because they got such a great society. And that's what that's what we've lost as a common sense about each other. Is the tighter the chains, you know, the the more of you there are. Yeah. Where, wherever there's free range, that means the chains are just rope. You know, and if you go over the rope, they might shoot you. They might not. They might let you run. Who knows? But the threat is, you know, that's good enough. You know, I mean, there's, you know, there's some things in life I'll challenge. And then there's some things in life that common sense dictates not to challenge because the outcome could get you killed. And you know what one of those things are? Protesting against the government. Oh, no, that's something I never, never got into. Is wouldn't, wouldn't think of it. Wouldn't do it. Not yeah. even in a million billion years. That's, I was telling Vinny what he did at the Bundy Ranch thing. I wouldn't have done that no, no matter what the circumstances because that's just not me to do so. I'm covert and sneaky. Not stand in the freaking middle of a road with a you know, armed or not armed. No, no, no. I'm going to go blend in and do something and nobody's going to know I did it. I'll be a sneaky little flash. <laughs> but, and and then in the long run, as all this thing will unfold and everybody's going to be all pissed off and shit, it's all, the government's always a step ahead of you. Yeah. They always know what to do when they run out of printed money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Did you, did you see Trump's proposed bill? <laughs> Are you sitting down? <laughs> 4.1 trillion dollar budget? <laughs> I I read a bigger one, but yeah, 4, Four point, point something trillion, but uh, cuts in Medicaid, <laughs> Social Security, all see all the all the things people have been conned into thinking are government benefits, because that's what these idiots believe. Now I come from a time when medicine wasn't for profit. <laughs> so yeah. Hey, wait a minute. So what happened? Well, Admiralty Court happened. And it's still running amok to this day. And it's like a freaking octopus. You get away from one bit of it and it sneaks up around the corner and it grabs your supply line in the Middle East. <laughs> ah, we'll make hash a little bit more expensive, Mr. Freedom Guy. <laughs> You'll see it our way. You know, it's yeah. comply or fucking die. Well, this is what I mean by we're all slaves. Me included. As much, as far away from this game as I consider myself to be. 
it still tickles me whenever it can. And I think I'm going to blame Hans. I'll bet Hans would feel proud, too. He'd go, oh, look, I am the talk of D-Town because they're blaming me. <laughs> In a perfect world. I don't know, Rob. <laughs> what are you going to do? Yeah. You, they complain. So if, if you beat them with a new rope, they still cry. Yeah. I'm telling you, this being a, you know, like a cult leader, it's not as it's not as easy nor as difficult as it may seem. Just telling you. It's actually, when you think it through, it's all really a, it's a frame of mind. Because out, out there is some poor guy named Donald, right? And, and Donald, Donald thinks he matters to everybody. <laughs> Donald doesn't have the ability to, to, to not know that we don't care <laughs> to know that. He, he goes right beyond all that, right into knowledge. <laughs> oh, <yeah. coughs> I was kind of embarrassed listening to him, him speak as the president a few times. Or maybe it was twit. Twit, Twitter, twat. I, but I heard him say it too, so it must have been like videos. Anyway. The man speaks like an old Jewish grandma. Oh, yeah. Haven't you ever noticed that? And waves his hands around like the queen. It's very embarrassing. I feel like, oh, I wouldn't want to know you in person, buddy. You're weird. He's like creepy. He's, kind of... He's like a masculine creepy Joe. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, creepy I... Joe's picking on all the 12-year-olds, uh, you know, all the creepy Donalds over there with the 19-year-olds. Last time I watched a video of him was when he was running. <laughs> I know all the best words. I mean, wow. And then the caption read, you just used the five worst words to say it. <laughs> <laughs> it was like the clever. I mean, people. We, we really taught to bash each other and underestimate the other guy. Yeah. And then and then life sends me a gift. And then everybody else I can I can pretty much see uh I can understand I can't understand some political sides. Some people take politics into every area of their conversation. I think of it as a like a joke. You know, it's like a catalyst for a, something funny or ha uh, but not hmm. I don't think I weigh politics into my relationship with Circle. <laughs> I think it's the last thing we'd ever do. Politics. Yeah. <laughs> and she and she's the state of stain. <laughs> but but she's not. But she it's amazing how this works. You know, just because uh, it sounds a lot like uh y'all are a lot like me and my girl. But it comes down to who owns your paperwork, Rob. Is but she doesn't have the the blind loyalty bullshit. Well, right, but still, that you got see. That's the beauty of life is some people know and they just feel that they're more qualified to do that than we are. <laughs> so. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <clears throat> to make it, yeah, to be blunt about it because, well, they do better at it and it's been set up for women to succeed out there. Why wouldn't a woman want to take advantage of that? Fuck. It, it's insane. We've been turned around in gender, you know, in society. Yeah. yeah. So, well, I, I live in a, yeah. I live in a place that that's so comfortable with that. It's like, fuck, nobody notices. It it would be more noticeable if, if I uh, did have work. The society, yeah, this society is not, uh, they're not a labor, go, 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 you know, make, 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 be, be, be. They're kind of like lay back <laughs> as much as possible. Yeah. You know, and yeah. I've got my complaints about their, their, you know, interest in television and such, but when I walk down the road a bit, a couple of houses, they've got a about a two-year-old and a newborn. 
And and when I pass by their house to go meet Cirque some days, they got the windows open, and that man is sitting there playing with his uh, newborn kid. And it's yeah. you know it's just the nicest fucking thing to see him showing the kid interest, and, you know, all those things that uh, they've been beaten out of us in America. Because man, if you're if you're a guy and you go near a kid in America that you're not blood related to. You're going to have problems. People are going to get freaked out. Yeah. TV and laws. I seen. I, I think I mentioned this on a show solo. I was on my way to the grocery. I see a car parked and a kid in the car sitting there playing on his iPhone or whatever. Maybe seven years old. Couldn't have been much older than that. Playing on a little phone. And it was, to me, as normal because this is Denmark. Yeah. Oh yeah, the women leave their when we were in Copenhagen. The women leave their kids outside in the winter time, in front of the cafe, in front of the glass where they're drinking, and that's completely normal. And then they go do it in America, and they get arrested for freaking child neglect. Yeah, because the laws are different. Well, how the fuck are you in ignorant? their own yard by themselves? People have been arrested. Right. Well, but in their own yard. Oh, wow. Wow. And, but that's not, I leave America for eight years and you guys do that to it, really. <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, collectively, see, this I, let it, I mean, I guess you could say I let it, I've, I've, I've spoken out about everything I could for hmm. 35 years and yeah. been banging my head against this wall for that long. I don't think I do that. Now, I'm not banging my head against nothing because the stuff that I no. do know, nobody else agrees with it. Very, well, not nobody. I shouldn't discount you like that. I mean, so few other carbon-based life forms even understand what the hell we're talking about, Rob. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's oh, another yeah. it's another language. Uh, banging my head against that wall. That's trying to convince somebody of anything is is. Uh, What's that saying? It's easier to fool somebody than to convince them they've been fooled. Yep. But look at how few people are available to actually get where we're trying to go. They don't even know there's a choice. They're, there's, they don't know there even is a problem. <laughs> yeah, they think it's perfectly normal to go bomb the shit out of whole countries. And, right. And the oil and culture yeah. and they're exceptional and they deserve it da, 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 da. well the rest of the world laughed along for a long time because they were joining in and as time goes on the allies are dropping out because their uh, their manpower is being deployed France is on fire right now with people are protesting against uh, the government making their making them work to certain ages. Raising the mandatory work age was not a big popular fight. They've been fighting for a year over there. Yeah. Well, France is only a country away after Germany from here. So, you know, that's my backyard now, so I'm more interested. <laughs> yeah. But yet, I'm still of the American dirt the American paperwork, so I spend a lot of time listening and uh, finding out what's going on back in the old uh, the old homestead. That, the the ex-homestead. Yeah. Well, I'm concerned. I guess I shouldn't be so sarcastic about it all, but it's so hard to uh, be positive about America now. Especially with this crap with the Rand coming up. And then they've stalled it so long. I don't know what to make of it. Yeah, it's like they backed off on that. Yeah, but Trump went over there and assassinated that freaking bigwig dude in the, what you hoochie call it? Yeah, it's totally modern. Well, whatever his hoochie name is, the point is, Trump was bragging about, well, I killed him. Whoa, you don't do shit like that to people of that level of... Uh, Whatever it is in society, and not and not have to pay for it somehow. So, 
lot of a lot of the world uh, took notice of that too. So this has been weeks now, and I'm isolated in Denmark, so I don't I don't know. Do you know? Do I know what specifically? <sighs> well, what's going to come of this? Last, I don't know what to call. It. I call it an assassination. The way I read it. The man was lured to a place under the guise of we're going to have a peace talk. And then when he got there, they bombed a place he went to go have a peace talk. So to me, that's kind of, wow. Or was that a meme I read about it? See, I don't know. It could be anything at this point in my history. Because the end is always different than what you hear in the first place. Don't go like you would think they would. Uh, the whole dynamic is is strange. Um, I don't even know how to begin to explain how I see it. Well, Frog just did. Ooh, on the RLM chat. <laughs> see, it's my belief that over the, all the years of television, MSN, radio, all this crap that we get, internet. Now, we've been conditioned, you know, to accept or not accept certain shit. And depending on what your interests are is where your mind will follow and you'll be there. And it controls the way that we see what we look at. Explaining it beyond that would be subjective because I believe that even though me and you agree about 55 things, we see them all in a different light. We just happen verbally to find a way to agree on those 55, but everything else didn't seem to match. wonder what was wrong with that. No, 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 no. It's more complex than we're ever... We're not taught about how incredible we fucking are as human carbon-based life forms, as little animals, you know, in our little cages, doing our little dance. We're pretty fucking complicated. Well... To combat how complicated we are, these scientist idiots come up with AI to kind of belittle, you know, mankind, put us in our place. <laughs> I saw it. Skynet's going to blow up the world. It's going to do that. They're going to use nuclear to do it. What a bunch of shit. Okay. Now, first off, it, I. They've shown you examples of what they can do with nuclear. And those are some pretty devastating examples of what we saw. Correct? Yeah. But I saw Bilbo outwit Golem inside the mountain. (laughs) Okay. See? So... Are you Are telling you me that I didn't really see Gollum get outwitted by Bilbo Baggins inside the mountain? Or are you telling me everything else is bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> I just thought the shit I saw the I saw the uh the guys land on the moon. Too. Oh, I've mentioned this. My father when my fa- my sat with my parents and saw it and my dad was mumbling in the corner. Bullshit. Never changed his mind from the minute he didn't. Really? He didn't. He didn't he come didn't from. Nah. Now nah, he was born and raised without all that stuff, so he saw TV way differently than I did. Uh huh. He still had the ability to know when he was being lied to. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he did, they didn't have TV when he was growing up. That boy grew up outside doing shit. Um, the sticks. Hell the TV yeah. came in the 50s. Yeah. Well, he wasn't a real big fan of it, but he wasn't afraid of it. So it didn't bother him to let me, me and my brother watch it. We watched it. But yeah. I I think that you, uh, as, as you're growing up, you're copying the grown-ups that you're around. You're trying to be like them. Mm-hmm. So whatever they're saying that... You don't even remember to this day. I couldn't remember a conversation they had. But I'm sure I sat through a fucking shitload of them. 
So whatever they were talking about was building my character for when I grew up and could decide for myself about shit. Yeah. Well, no. Who talks about that kind of stuff with anyone? They think that you go to school and you learn everything. And I think that you go to school and they fuck up everything that you learned. Oh, yeah. Destroy it. Boy, they want you to be a follower like, of the rules. Like worker B. <laughs> Frock. <laughs> well. Go get grades, get a job. But I saw up, Superman married, fly. Yeah. I saw yeah. Spider-Man make a web. I saw Batman catch the uh, penguin. Now, come on. Uh, if, if that's either real or it ain't. And I say it ain't real. Okay. I seen you turn on fire. But I took it a step further. Rob, I took it a step further with maybe some of these big high profile murder shit fucking programs they're making about, they call them documentaries. Maybe they're not. Yeah. Maybe they're psyops. CIA psyops. And if you, and if you look at this with a, of them are. Right. And if you look at it with that, conspiracy theorist mindset that, wow it's hard to tell you that after you see it that from that light it's hard to ever look at it from hey uh, poor girl I, no then you start to think I wonder if the Clintons didn't do that and they just figured out a way to pay this guy to take the fall <laughs> right. I mean well what you can do Things when you have trillions of dollars and exactly, I mean, if somebody threatened me with you're you know you're gonna go to prison for this murder or we're gonna kill your family, guess where I'm going? I am not that brave to try to fight the system, and not saying it's gonna happen to me. I'm just saying that I'm sure it happens to people. Yeah. Yep. And there's been extreme cases where they they've made public knowledge. Uh, like the kid that stole five, like a five dollars from a a federal post office, and ends up in uh, <laughs> he ends up, I think it was Alcatraz in the hole, <laughs> and he's yeah. just a freaking psychotic mess when they finally get him out of it. Well, yeah. th- this is the do getters helping society. This is what we yeah. are. Uh, well. Hmm. Yes, please stop helping. <laughs> I don't know. My old man, see, my old man was all like that, that punishment shit. And, all, and it, when I grew up and became you know, in control of my own future, I went, fuck all that. No, 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 no. There's better ways. Punishing people doesn't do shit. And you know what? I found out. What's that? The state already had figured out a way against you figuring out a way. So <laughs> if if you were of the persuasion to be physically violent with your child to, you know, gain control and dominance, that was one thing. They could physically prove that. So they wanted complete control, so they came up with verbal abuse. Yeah. Define verbal abuse. Uh, I mean, if I say "fuck you, Rob," I guess somebody could say that was I just verbally abused you. Best. <sighs> Would you like me to get you a box of Kleenex and some band aids? Did I make you a boo boo? <laughs> it's how sensitive we are. Well, you say the right word to the wrong person. Bet you say the wrong word to the. It's. We're doing something wrong in a way we don't know. No, not going the fuck up. <laughs> well, yeah, this is a talk show. you got to kind of talk. People are being held in adolescence for perpetual. Well, Especially yeah, because I kind of like it. Well, I do it, too. I, 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 do. I pick on Hansel every now and again because he's a pain in the butt. So well, Most people are still stuck in that. Freaking! I don't know. You say you are, but I just think you're just not going to give people a pretty word because it makes them feel good. Me? Yeah, you you've gone beyond all that. 
the other morning, I think it was yesterday, you came in and I said, hey, what's up? Ah, I'm not in a good mood. Huh? Okay. Blast off. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, I'm not going to stop you. I, I, was in a, I was in an exceptionally uh, bad mood. Well, and what happened that was so bad? Can you tell us poor, uh, lonely uh, people on the radio? Yeah. We're all uh, all alone in the radio and we don't have nobody to talk to. <laughs> Never mind. I was being yeah. funny. I don't know. No, I, I... I'm generally a curmudgeon anyway. Oh, yeah. One of those. Well... Hmm. Well, what's your strongest talent? If you had to depend on one talent that you have, you know, that you could keep forever, they'll never, you'll never lose it, what would it be? Cooking. Mm. Mine would be drawing. Cool. Yeah, I've read a lot about your food on the uh, internet chat. So... Oh, I love- yeah, Cirque's mom come over Sunday and taught her this new way to make these uh, pastry things, little fluffy balls. Yeah. And then when they cool down, then you put ice icing in them, and then you put them in the fridge, and they cool off, and then you pop them. And her mom taught her to do them in, like, you know, no time. Boom, boom, boom. Right. It's just amazing. These Danish women, they're like, a, they're like an ant farm. <laughs> A chaotic ant farm. You can't so, really... Yeah, when you it's... Know, you step back and stay out of the way. Yeah, because when you're looking at it, well, they're all running around. But when you you start from one place and you get to the end, the end result's always good. Yeah. And then your, I, I thought... Your, your biscuits and gravy? My what? You ever get your biscuits and gravy? No, 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 no. I don't expect to. No, no. Well, because, see, I keep trying to tell people. It was just, I was a comment I made about something that I was thinking about when I was in Tennessee or maybe when I was in Louisiana. Not, you can't do that again. That was a different time. Those were places where those foods can't be reproduced here. You're never going to be the same. It's going to be a Danish version of an American food. Never the same? No, 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 no. no. Here, anyway. Most a lot of the things I cook are there's no recipes. Just start throwing shit together, and it's never the same twice. That's what Cirque does, but in Danish, you know, yeah, uh, she's even what? So what? She's even accommodated me. Well, I prefer. It might be better, but I prefer certain things that she's she wasn't raised with, so she accommodates me with. These Danish versions of American food. Okay. So, when she does do it, it's still going to be different than what I'm, I've ever eaten before because it's Danish. Of course. Yeah. of course. So that's what. Yeah. There's, that's the beauty of it. <laughs> well, right. So, but I was just, I was that's just reminiscing about something, and she thought I wanted. No, it wasn't like that. It was just talking. OB reference. It's like seeing the Redwood Forest. Have you ever been to the Redwoods? Uh, no, I have not. That's Man, one of the, on if, my list. You okay? List schmissed. You get yourself and go up. Try to go in an off season where there's not lots of people. Yeah. And I'm telling you, it's the most. It's to me, it was like a, a religious experience in a sense when I was. Walking amongst those trees. Been uh, talking about up there for a long time. Yeah, <clears throat> and they go I've all the way. Seen the Grand Canyon either, so that's a, a trip we're going to make. Sometime. Do it, yeah. Do it before the, you can't do it. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I've, I've pretty much covered all the places I wanted to go, so I don't have a want to go anywhere. Now I've yeah. got a head full of memories about places I've been. And then if yeah. Cirque ever wants to go, she can go anywhere she wants to go. But she never wants to go anywhere. Well, she went to Munich for two days, I think, that last year for some business thing. But outside of that, she's not taking up any of the... Uh, IBM does shit with her company. Yeah. Yeah, she didn't. She passed it up this year, I think. 
because I hadn't heard a word about it. Yeah. Self is a is an exercise in. Well, Cirque works with uh, computer people that yeah. that make uh, like they do what Grimm does, writing codes and shit to make shit. In, to make internet shit out of code or something. I don't know. Stuff like okay. that. They, they talk about it in words, and then these guys write it down in code, and then these other people produce it into a physical, look at this. So it's like teamwork with groups of different people that do different things that don't communicate between the groups. You know what I mean? Because... Like, uh, yeah. Cirque's understanding of code would be way different than the guy that writes it. And his version yeah. of, of making the presentation, some people don't, you know, like they're excellent at doing code, but they don't have the imagination for presenting something. So, wow, to have all these different kind of people work together at all to get anything finished is beyond me. I don't know how they do it. It's like government, but something that actually gets finished or, you know, the plan actually gets done at some point. And it's an insurance company, so. But, yeah, yeah well, you know what? Finance. This fiat currency shit, it's going to get us yeah. eventually. Yeah, it all revolves around that. Well, that's their main control mechanism and with that they buy everything and everybody that can be bought including the media politicians yeah but it's going to collapse again sure okay well what why are they going to tell this time to prop it up they know it it's been going on for thousands of years nothing's new so they're going to they're they're going to keep this dog Hmm. I can't figure out how they're going to pull this See, I've got too much experience in, in this other side, the conspiracy side of looking at it, to ever mm-hmm. take the the statist point of view seriously and judge my reality on it. Oh, society's going to collapse, and I'm thinking, fucking best thing for it. Yeah. You know, it, the, at the sad, it's terrible. I mean, people are going to be but, fucking yeah. miserable. The way, it, when it, when it comes down to if if it's allowed to get to that point, well, it will be a window of opportunity, and they're already set up to take advantage of that window. Hmm. They know it's coming. They've been planning it on it for hundreds of years. That's all. So, well, just for this one, hmm. I mean, there's been others that they. It's just one step in, along the way. Um, but they know that there's going to come a time when people are going to go, what the fuck? What's well, going on? I think we're going we're gonna to go what the fuck and in a perfect world tonight. Thanks a lot, Rob. We come up to the end of the show. I just looked at the clock. We've got two minutes. Yeah, two minutes. Wow, that went by quick. Shit. Anyway. Yeah, was- this is, yeah, Cirque took a couple of days off of work this week, so she's home. Oh. <laughs> I know, she's such a spoiled brat. And, uh, but thanks a lot for coming along. And, uh, mm, no so, problem. But, yeah, right. I'll jump in whenever you. I appreciate it because uh, sometimes yeah. doing the solo thing is just, I, I don't know what to talk yeah, about. Yeah, it's hard to, hard to monologue for two hours. Sorry, well, I thought, here. yeah, but I looked up. I thought we did an hour, and I went, no, I can't. We can't. Uh-oh, show's over. But anyway, thanks a lot, Grimner. Sorry about the false alarm. We had a, a little misunderstanding on the uh, settings, and we couldn't connect on the wire, so we needed Grim to you know, come and bail us out. And he did, and Rob fixed it without him. <laughs> <laughs> give me a time. I just wanted to give you a, something to remember at the end of this particular show, Rob. Uh, <laughs> wrong, wrong setting on the voice meter. But uh, it's been in a perfect world, and I'm still Flash, and that's still Rob. And uh, 
we've got some shows on the reallibertymedia.com. Uh, open it up. There's a schedule. Take a look at it. I don't have time to go through them tonight. I I kind of fucked up on the time. So, you got anything really clever, important to close up with, Rob? They all suck. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Thanks a lot. Ha, <laughs>